How many people are having fun? Not one hand. How many people are feeling intimidated? Not, oh, one hand. There's one hand. How many people are like, it's fine? All right. So now, uh, now I asked you, why do we want to close resources? Who has an answer? So what does that mean, closing resources? Right? Here I'm opening up resources. What happens if I keep opening up resources? What's happening in the computer? Dude, I am taking up memory, right? And if I do open up enough resources, my computer is going to get slower and slower and bogged down. And finally, it's going to be like, eh, I can't do anymore. So if we open something, right, like we're creating a file, we want to close it. So the file I created is called new file. And now if I have a type file from OS, If I have type file from OS, I called create, it returns a pointer to a file. And with a pointer to the file, look at these functions. A function, remember, is the keyword func, and then receiver, and then identifier, and then parameters, and then returns, and then code. Right? So I've got all of these functions here with a receiver to a value of type pointer to a file. And what does that make all of these functions? It makes them methods. They are a method for anything which is of type pointer to a file. So it tells me a little bit about type pointer to a file just to read the methods attached to type pointer to a file. Chmod, I could change the permissions on this file with this function. That's cool. And that's a terminal command, right? But it's also here. I could change the owner. I could close the file. Name, maybe I can name it. I could read it, read at. I could seek. I could write to it. And then there's some other stuff I might want to read about. But you could read a file, you could write to file, you could close a file. That's all cool. So whenever a value of a certain type has a method attached to it, so whenever a type has a method close attached to it, that's a really strong hint that if you open up this type or use this type, you want to probably close it. And then we learned what defer does, didn't we? So we saw how defer, it's like when this exits, right before my program exits, right before main exits, defer will run and it's gonna close my file. Like I'm done with this, closing it, shut my resources down. The beauty of defer is right where I open or create a file, right there in my code, I'm closing it with defer. That prevents me from forgetting to close it. That allows me to easily check. Hey, you open a file, did you close it? Nice. If I opened it here and then I had a whole bunch of code and 100 lines later, you know, I was supposed to close it, that's harder for me to remember to put it down there. It's harder for me to visually check. Oh, you opened it, did you close it? This is boom, boom. Open it, make sure it's closed when everything's done. All right? nice, it's really nice. And then we have IO copy. So from the input output package, from the input output package, we have IO copy. And I'm going to talk about that next in the next video.